Welcome everyone. It's finally May, so I guess it's time for a mermaid doll. Ever since I came across this doll, I have been totally obsessed with the sculpt of Ebby Blue from the Monster High range. I think she is so unique, with very intricate sculpting on her tail, and then the most adorable face and fishy ears. I got very lucky on eBay a few months ago and got my hands on one of these cuties, and so for Mermaid, she will be getting a new look. I pop off her head and chop her hair off and remove the factory paint with pure acetone. To get lots of thick long hair onto this tiny head, the best method will be to reroot her. So I create some long strands from this beautiful blue yarn. I love that there are different shades of dark blue, light blue and navy mixed in for some natural looking high and low lights. If you'd like to see how I make the hair from this yarn, make sure you check out my most recent video where I create my forest elf. I go into a little more detail on this method over there. After a few hours of work, I have a full head of beautiful wavy hair. To lock it all in, I add some tacky glue into the neck hole, smush it around with a q-tip, and let it dry overnight. I wrap her hair up in some scrap fabric and give her face a spray of Mr. Super Clear sealant to start her face up. For those who might be new to this hobby, Mr. Super Clear, or MSC, is a spray varnish which dries matte with a toothy, paper-like quality which allows you to draw on the normally slippery surface of a doll face. I use watercolour pencils from both Faber-Castell and Caran d'Ache to start sketching in her eyes and other details of the face. I then start adding some pink and blue blush using chalk pastels and small fluffy brushes. I was really tempted to just keep her colour palette totally blue. I really love creating monochromatic characters, but I've done quite a bit of that lately so I decided to add pink into the mix. I think the combination turned out really cute. I wanted this doll to have a very is baby feel, and I think the sweetness of the pink and blue together really worked for her. After drawing on her eyelashes, I start adding some Perlex powder to her skin to add extra sparkle and glow. Using white acrylic paint, I enhance all of the highlights of her face. This includes the catch lights in her eyes, the highlight of her eyelid, a couple of sparkles on her waterline, and the high points of her nose and lips. I gloss her eyes and lips to finish up the face. I know a lot of other doll customizers choose not to gloss their eyes as it can muddle the details and make it too hard to photograph. I hadn't really noticed that until now. I think it blurred a lot of the details in her eyes, so maybe in the future I might start glossing only her lips. Let me know in the comments if you have a preference for gloss or no gloss. Onto her tail. I wanted to add a gradient effect from blue to pink, so to begin I start adding a lighter blue which I then blend into white, which will create a base to later add pink to. I 
I'm then going in with some navy to add depth to the colour palette. I give her tail a spray of MSC, and when it's dry, I start building up the pink on the tips of her fins. While I have the pink out, I blush her belly, shoulders, and the little fins on her forearms. Once I'm happy with her colours, I start going in with some Perlex powder, pink over the pink and blue over the blue. I love the shifting effect it gives her tail. At this point I accidentally chip off some of the colour over the joint in her tail. To fix this problem, I go in with a navy sharpie, which means there will be less layers of pastels over the joint, which then means it's less likely to chip. If you ever want to recolor a joint with pastels, I would recommend going in with the sharpie first to avoid this problem. With that fixed, I go in with a few more layers of Perlex powders and finally finish her with a glossy varnish to seal in all the colour and to add a super shiny, wet looking finish. I decided to give her some little white freckles, so I go in with some watered down acrylic paint to add these little details around her face and body. I wanted to decorate her with pearl details, and decided to use them to cover her chest, as well as decorate her body and tail. I also use them around the hairline of her shaved side, and add some in in lieu of eyebrows. At this point, I felt like I needed to add more pink to her overall look, as well as introduce some more texture. So I tie some cute little ribbons to her upper arms. I love the look it gives her, I think it's super adorable and makes her look more like a tiny baby. I found some white beads with an AB shift that matches the pearls on her body, and I add them to the ends of the ribbons to finish it off. And with that, our little baby mermaid is complete. I named her Ondine. I hope you love her.
like this doll or this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram, at MrSuperCustoms, where this doll, as well as some of my other creations, will be available for adoption, so make sure you check it out. Have an awesome day!